That's what we're doing here on a Feel Good Friday, brought to you by Giving Hearts Day. Find out more at givingheartsday.org, because as you go to givingheartsday.org and you find it on your heart to say, hey, I want to donate, I want to volunteer, I want to send some goods over, obviously you're making a lot of dreams come true. We just heard a great story with you about the Perry Center and the impact they're making on the community. Again, all because of your giving heart. Not government hearts, but your giving hearts are making that difference, making an impact for a lot of women in our community and their uh, newborns. And also, we've got a very special guest in studio today as well from Down Home, the yeah. executive director there, Janessa Philippi. Philippi. You know, Philippi. you can say, yeah, Philippi. I was thinking like the, the <laughs> but Phil, say it again, Philippi. Philippi. Thank you. Say it a few times, you got it. It takes me a little while. I'm kind of slow on a Friday. We're <laughs> talking about a 4.30, yeah. right? Right. So first off, though, thank you for what you do. I did some homework on you guys as well. And like, honestly, your video brought me to tears, but it's just amazing the impact that you are making on family. So I don't want to steal your thunder. Share with people your mission and how you make an impact. For sure. So down home, we are boots on the ground. We empower lives by furnishing homes for families and individuals emerging from homelessness within our community. There's many families that are able to secure housing and pay for their rent and purchase food for their kids. But beyond that, there's a lot of barriers, transportation barriers. There's the barrier of getting, purchasing a mattress. And if you're able to purchase a mattress, how are you going to get up to your third floor apartment? And so there's lots of barriers of truly transforming an empty space into a beautiful, dignified, inspiring home. One of the things that jumped out to me, though, was the stat in the video where it talked about kids. Like, Mm -hmm. You know, we talk a lot about nutrition for kids at one level, but hey, if you're going to be in school, it's probably a good idea that you have some breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. But also you mentioned something else you're doing to make an impact for kids because they're sleeping on the floor. Like, if you're not sleeping right, you're probably not going to get up energized and be able to produce at school. Right. I was an elementary school counselor for 15 years, and that is where the gap became very evident. There were kiddos coming to school that they were tired, they were exhausted, they were unable to focus academically which then carried over to their emotions and inability to maintain them and recognizing that many of them were not getting in a good night's sleep because they were sleeping on the floor. And when I say sleeping on the floor, the families that we've served, we're going on number 100 here pretty soon. There's several families that have mats that they're sleeping on, but one in particular I will never forget. We walked in, it was a kindergartner and first grader that were sharing a bedroom and it was on Their bedroom had linoleum floor. There was a kitchen mat down. So a kitchen mat, Chris, it's a thin mat. (laughs) A kitchen mat was down there. There was two small blankets and two inexpensive pillows. And that's what they were sleeping on. And that's what they were expected to get a good night's sleep on to be able to function the next day at school. And as we know, (laughs) if we don't get a good night's sleep, (laughs) it carries over into our day and in that inability of focus and inability to manage our emotions and, and everything else, friendships and everything. And the spiral that gets created there that mm-hmm. many people not think about, because now if you're not getting a good night's sleep, you're going to be quickly more irritated. And then the mom's got to, or dad's got to deal with that. And it just creates this, you know, mm-hmm. pattern, which one of the things that really jumped out to me, I was raised for a long time by a single mom. You work with a lot of single moms. I mean, that yeah. is, that is, the toughest job mm-hmm. on the planet because you're trying to juggle 18 million plates mm-hmm. and you just most humans just, just you just can't do it right and the overwhelming feeling so stepping into your new space is really exciting and yet when you step in there many of the moms are feeling overwhelmed by how to transform four walls and a roof into a space that really is comfortable and personalized and dignified and a family that we just served last week said just that. And she said, what was I supposed to do? I was gonna ready, getting ready to make supper. And as I made it, I, I just started busting out into tears because I thought, well, my kids, where are we going to eat? We're going to eat on the mattress in the living room floor because they didn't have a table to eat at. They don't have a couch to snuggle on. They don't have comfortable mattress or sheets to, to sleep in. And yeah, it's overwhelming for families. And so the fact that we can... We're gifted with the opportunity to eliminate that barrier within our community so that they can truly stabilize and engage with the kids. We put games in there. We put inspirational quotes. We put crosses. We put all things that help dignify the human person 
and really empower them to further connect and stabilize within the community. And I know there's some people out there that <clears throat> listen to this and go, hey, look, you know what? That's that person's journey. But, but one of the things I want to remind people that are listening is, look, you and I as taxpayers in North Dakota are spending over $13,000 per student in our school system. So like we just talked about a moment ago, you've got a six-year-old coming into a classroom that's sleeping on a kitchen mat, not getting a good night's sleep. The question I want you to ask yourself, are you maximizing your return on that investment of that 13 grand because that little one isn't able to sleep on a good bed? I think this organization here, start to sleep on a bed, you get some good food. Mm -hmm. We can't control our parents, but at least now we're giving them a chance, mm -hmm. right? To have, make an impact as they show up in school and they might say, you know what, I'm gonna go be an engineer or whatever it might be. So mm -hmm. let's talk about how we can support you. And Amber, I think you've got a phenomenal way to do that with this thing called Giving Hearts <laughs> Day. Absolutely. <laughs> so I would love to just thank you so much, Janessa, mm -hmm. for the work that you do. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. been amazing to watch your organization thank grow. You. And could you please share how how would a donation and these donations that are coming through to you on Giving Hearts Day, how does that impact your mission and, and mm -hmm. what does it allow you to do? Right. So we, we truly are furnishing decor and so much more. Down Home comes from the song Alabama, an Alabama song. And it goes down home where they know you by name and treat you like family. Folks know when they're falling on hard times, they can fall back on those of us raised up down home. And that is really at the heart of who we are. So not only do we transform their empty space into a beautiful and dignified home with donations that come in, brand new mattresses, brand new sheets, books, games, accent pillows, comforters, anything that you have in your home, you name it, that's what we provide to these families. And yet we provide more because after the reveal, we follow up with them and we offer opportunities to be a part of the greater down home family and part of the greater community through partnering with other agencies. Um, we partner with Sparklight, who offers free internet. We partner with Box of Balloons, who does the birthday packages. We partner with um, Wholehearted Mission, who does photography for the families that we serve. I mean, there's just this beautiful abundance within our community. And when we partner together, we are truly so much better. So your donations go so much further through the follow-up work that we do with the families and a down-home Christmas that we provide and Christmas tree packages. And the list kind of really goes on and on. <laughs> That's incredible. So not only can an individual make an incredible impact in your mission mm -hmm. by donating those dollars or, or their time as well. But you had mentioned businesses and your partnerships. And we had been talking earlier on the segment about uh, how to get back, how to give mm -hmm. back as a Giving Hearts business. And, and that's one way. I mean, if there are things that, that you need at your organization and, and or you have a business that can help support this in some way, what a phenomenal way to mm -hmm. be able to make an incredible difference mm -hmm. and really feel that purpose-filled you know, meaning at your business. Absolutely. And we have Border States, who is our premier match donor this year, and they were just in our warehouse yesterday assembling furniture as well. So truly, there's so many opportunities wow. to get involved in many of the nonprofits and ours included. Did, are you the one that came up with furnish, furnishings, decor, and so much more? Well, uh, <laughs> there is someone who has been a down-home junkie since the beginning. Her name is Chris Welson, and oh. she actually came up with it right after last year's Giving Hearts Day because she just has a marketing mind. And so, yes, it... It was beautiful. I was like, oh, I like that. So, <laughs> and it's a good name, right, Chris? <laughs> it's fantastic. That's down home, and I'm going to butcher it again, but Janessa... Philippi. Philippi. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting better. Yeah. So, the executive director there, <laughs> but again, if you want to donate to down home and the great things they're doing... Uh, you can go to givingheartsday.org. Again, givingheartsday.org. And I've got about 60 seconds, Amber. I'm going to give you the last word today. Thank you for sponsoring Feel Good Friday. What do you have? Absolutely. Well, if you were touched and inspired by both of these or either of these two stories, I really encourage you to come out, givingheartsday.org, make a donation, volunteer, pledge to give goods, and, and feel good while doing it.